Example 10, right. Example 10 indicates to us that investor A has 33% and there is two other investors each earning 33.5%. It indicates to us that the investee's business activity is closely related to investor A. Therefore, if you look at this, I've included pretty similar business activities. And that investor A has a debt instrument which can be converted into Audrey shares at any time for a fixed price that is out of money, but not, look at this, but not deeply out of money. If the debt were converted, investor A would hold 60% of the voting rights of the investee. Now, when we look at this, it is out of money, but not deeply out of money. Therefore, yes, maybe investor A will lose a little bit. Compare to our previous example. Look at our previous example. They've indicated to us that it's deeply, a lot out of money. Now, but not deeply out of money. It's out of money, but not deeply out of money. Therefore, deeply out of money, they will lose a lot, but not that much now. Okay, therefore, if we look at this in conjunction with the fact that the business activities are the same, we are able to identify that if A exercise, or not exercise, sorry, convert the instrument into shares, plus the fact that they have the same type of businesses, that there will be synergies between these two entities. And due to the fact that there will be synergies, investor A has power over the investee because it will hold voting rights together with, with substantive potential voting rights that will give the current ability to direct the relevant activities. Therefore, together, not on its own, if we look at the synergies plus the potential, there will be power.